Let's take a look and see this amazing take. As you can see, it is lit up. The green glow of the lights that run the solar is amazing. But we're going to get into exactly how we are producing power instead of losing power using this method. If you understand that you have 16 watts left over out of the 40 watts that's being generated, then you will understand this video even more. Take a look at this equation. Freeze the frame and then examine it. You will understand. We are about to show the videos that explains the stacks of units we call levels of solar. The little black cords is where we put power into the lights so they generate power. So let's go into the video and see the solar power just being connected so you know about the power it takes to run them. Okay, 86, that should start going down because it's going to start charging that battery. There it is. And it start going down. Okay. Wanted to show that right off the back. So we know that that battery down there is being charged. Now I want to draw your attention to this is the grid. This is plugged into the wall socket of my house. And these two cords are this machine here working from that battery there. So now that we know that we got energy coming from that battery and we got energy going into the machine, let's see if we can plug this cord. Let's follow that cord up. That goes up to the strip which goes to those lights, okay? This is the solar cord, see these lights? Okay, so all these, those are the stack of solar. Let's turn that off so we can see it a little bit better. See all those lights? Okay, so those are the lights and that strip is what that power comes from for the lights and it goes down and we plug those into the thing. So let's do this just to make sure that we see. See the lights are on. We're going to unplug it from the grid. The lights are off. OK, so that's that cord right there that plugs in the light. OK, so we turn on the light and now we have this cord. That goes up to the, the strip that connects all the lights that's over here that's off because it's unplugged. So what we're going to do now is that we want to plug this in to the machine, okay? So the strip, which is powering the solar, okay? But I just wanted to show you that I can plug it into itself what happens is giving you that horrible noise because it, it doesn't want it to accept it that way but what we're going to actually do is by a tie grid plug it into this so it now has power from the grid and it'll simulate what's coming from this and then i can plug that back into here operate perfectly so now that we see this let's do this one more time let's you see that's a here was a clean signal and the noise is not happening so let's take and unplug it unplug it and you see those two cords those two yellows that's in and out and then we're going to plug it in on itself Okay, we're gonna, we plugged it in to itself. That noise, horrible noise is coming back. 
and everything is being ran off of it. Let's put this cord up here next to this cord. So now we can see those two cords, which is going into the machine. Let's pull back. And the lights itself is being powered by this unit. The lights are on. Okay. Isolinear solar. And the grid power does not bypass because guess what? All the power is telling you that it's coming from the actual solar but if the solar is putting energy into this grid and this light tells you right here this light tells you that it's energy coming off of this it's plugged in to that and it's running the lights and we have dang, the lights are on okay so if we take this over here and say let's do this unplug it and you should see lights go out okay let's plug it back in okay plug it back in lights are on okay so look if you back out that's a full circle okay and we at 13 volts and it's charging and it says it's charging. See the light blinking. It's charging. It's float charging. Okay, that's a complete wraparound. Even though this thing's in, hey, I don't like that. Okay, so there's a clear indication of what we have here. All the cords going in. I'm gonna hold that image. You see that this is disconnected. It's disconnected. The battery is, and you're getting a full cycle. That means it's going in a loop. Now, if anybody wants to say, oh, that's nay, okay, well, then leave a comment and tell me why this is not a loop. Okay? And long as that battery has power, this unit is going to do what it's supposed to do. But we're going to clean the noise up by putting a tie grid inverter in between this and then that horrible noise that you hear will go away even though you have no faults okay so let's get rid of that noise by unplugging okay so we unplugged it and the grid goes off and the noise stops now the solar this is unplugged and the solar is charging the battery and we don't have a complete go around it's unplugged so anybody wants to explain that and the noise be my guess we've been doing this for over 31 years We've been talking about isolinear solar, which is right here. And as we know, if you looked at the other two videos, the other unit that I had, the glow rot, uh, was broke. They tried to say it was me. It wasn't. So we got a different unit, came from Canada. Very good company. Uh, we'll tell you what they did and what's name, but they sent us a unit, the unit works. An isolinear solar is working okay and it's putting power into this unit from all these strings of solar going into our charge controller with this cord right here that's what's going into our charge controller and it's charging that battery and remember we got 80 something volts on that and all of a sudden we take we went down to 15 because that's what's left over at that battery right there is being charged and that's a two kilowatt battery so ladies and gentlemen if we can get isolinear solar on the market 
is going to change how solar operates because this right here will run 24 hours a day not six like everything else this will run 24 hours a day okay that means I get my battery full and then I can take energy off of it because guess what? I'm just taking energy off of right now to run the solar. Yeah, we plugged it right into itself. That's the cord. Plugged it right into itself. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that cord off. Let's get rid of that and plug it into itself here i'm doing this with one hand sorry about the camera going on okay so look at that see that one cord there it is that now it's not so confusing that is energy from the solar and it's going into that tie grid from the solar and then I can take that cord and plug it in and it turns on all the lights that runs the solar and it gives enough power to charge that battery. And it's at float mode, but it's charging that battery. As you see, it says charging. Right there, charging. And it's only out of the 84 volts left, we have 15 volts coming from the solar. Okay. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the story. And we are saying look dude we've already having this patent which we talked about in the other video we're having this patent and if it's anybody who says this is why this is happening it's not doing what we say it's doing it's not running off the solar then please leave the comments the whole point is they've been trying to hide media library for whatever they've been trying to do conspiracy theories or not the whole point is it's time for this technology to come to the market and so everybody can see that you can run these isolated solars vertically so a smaller footprint to put it in your house and have solar 24 hours a day that's better than the so better than what we call solar battery because that's what it is is a, a better solar battery and now we have 24 hours of power produced from ourselves what else to talk about come on guys give me some feedback here thank you i'm out